along with me and we'll see how we live and wish for hollow. To find the sun's a little brighter, your care's a little lighter, it's best in the west. We have been receiving many calls from you interested viewers asking to see more of the adventures of Cyclone Malone and his wishbone hollow friends. We have just been able to establish contact, so let's look in on the D-Bar-N Ranch. Hmm. Sure great load off mind when me take load off feet. Oh. Oh, and me got so many problems. What to do about that awful lizard is heap mystery. Me think Cyclone got to figure that one out. Me got worries enough. What to do about water shortage here in Hollow. Me afraid when Cyclone gets around to riding range, he'll see that everything is dry as a bone. Oh, why didn't me clean out that spring and water pipe? Maybe someday me learn not to put off to tomorrow what me should do today. Me wish me could think of something. Hiya, fella. How's Cyclone today? Oh, him inside, catching up on ranch business. Uh-oh, tent is uh, gonna be stormy weather, isn't it? Hmm, stormy weather? Oh, you mean it look come like rain? Hmm? Uh, just a good strong wind coming up when Cyclone gets ready to blow off a chew over the water shortage. <laughs> huh, you think you funny? You know, funny. <laughs> okay, wise guy. Tell me how you're going to explain to the boss why the hollow full of suddenly doesn't have any water. I know he sent you the money to have the repair work done on that water pipe. Well, uh, well, well, that money sort of, uh, well, it's tied up in deep, big business investment. I bet it's tied up, if it's where I think it is, over in Yazoo Junction with Major Richmond. Oh. How you know about me and Major Richmond, hmm? A little boy told me. A relative. <laughs> oh, quit sticking your beak into other people's business, Burgess. Well, all I can say is your red skin isn't going to be white much if it doesn't rain pretty soon. Hmm? Why not leave me reach your palm, Fred, and see if I can get an answer? Oh, all right. Hmm. Hmm. Very interesting. Oh, what is it, Burgess? Hmm? Uh, you are going to meet someone who is tall and attractive. Ugh. With long, black, coily hair. Oh, ugh. Big, sad eyes. Boy, oh boy, this squaw sounds like a living doll. Uh, who said anything about a squaw? I'm talking about a sheepdog. Oh, <laughs> you crazy cruzzard. Let's get on subject of weather. That's what me really want to know about. Ah, uh, now let's see here. Uh, it says, um, fair and warmer, with a long, dry season ahead. Does it really say that? It just as though it was written out. Oh, how awful. Uh, well, why don't you try and appeal to a little laughing water? <laughs> hmm, that's not such a crazy idea as you might think of. Me remember my old Uncle Loose Tooth was very successful rainmaker. Hmm, in fact... Me been thinking of trying a few old kick a foot tribe magic words. Me think of me run them all together and do rain dance. Yes, I gotta see. Now, but you know me. Play along with a gag boy, just they call me. Quiet. Listen. Something must be done, me pull a fancy trick. Me know how to change that weather vane. Something must be done and something mighty quick. So me conduct campaign for rain. Me hate to bother the great father. But you got to help this poor brain. You must use your power, send a shower. Then my poor scalp you will say. Finally I take this in a fiddle. Trying to chisel a little drizzle. If you do not send some little sprinkles, we 
well get all pots and full of wrinkles. Cut them, Beak Burgess. You spoil them spell. Get on the ball. Start a waterfall. Or the poor old rant will go to fall. We must insist on a lot of myths. We're not proud. Send us all you got. Go on, Feta. Beat your feet for some sleep. <laughs> That's a joke. Come, go soap. At this point, the situation calls for something like Niagara Falls. After all, you know we know camels. We more like oceanic mammals. Oskaloosa, Oskaloosa, son of a great big moosa. One lone feather needs wet weather. Come on, don't refuse her. Rain for the grain, for the sugar cane. Or the sea bar and we'll never make it. Rain for all the wishbone, hollow terrain. Me afraid there's no way we can make it. Never since my ancestors migrated have we ever been so dehydrated. Yes, you sure are going to wreck and ruin. You are looking pinched like a pruin. Oh. Ah, well, even an oyster needs a little moisture. Oh, at this point, me even settle for smog. Well, where rain? Yeah, where's the snow, Joe? Ah, well, shut my old flop and beat. You did it. I did? Yeah. Hmm, I did. You sure did. Chief, I'm beginning to see you in a new and different light. Hmm. Me wonder how I really did do that, hmm? Well, we better get into the house. We're in for a real storm. Well, if this isn't a great note, a hole in the roof and the rain coming down harder than I've ever seen it in Wishbone Hollow. I'm sure lucky that this old bucket was right handy, or we'd have been using the living room for a swimming hole. Hmm. It's funny. Rain at this time of year. Wonder what brought it on. Hmm. <laughs> Shucks and Friday. I've run into a lot of puzzling things since I arrived home. Everybody seems to be down on me on account of the water shortage. And I don't quite get it. I sent one lone feather the money to repair the water pipe as soon as he wrote to me about it. And the ranch house seems in need of repair, too. I must ask Feather about it. Well, <gasps> did you get caught in the rain, guys? Oh, boy. Oh, my he pupskin was... and braids got soaked plenty. Yeah, and what a mess I'd be in if I hadn't had that permanent last week. <laughs> well, it is good duck weather. And say, do either one of you know anything about how that roof got such a big hole in it? Uh, well, now, it seems that there was a little matter of the chief here doing some experimenting with a skyrocket, and I... I well, was... don't forget them who was riding at side saddle and who had singed feathers for two weeks. Yeah, it was a trip. I cycled them on three times. Whee! 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 Okay, Burgess, <laughs> simmer down. I'd like to try and get to the bottom of some of the question marks around the ranch here since I got home. Now, first of all, why is the ranch in such a sad state? Everything looks kind of beat up as if, well, as if you hadn't been attending to the things in my absence. One lone feather, I hate to make any accusations, but I've got to have some explanation. Well, um, uh, well, me got an explanation, Cyclone, but we don't think you go for it. What? Uh, uh, well, uh, uh, he said there's not much to show for it. See, I don't get it. What are you guys talking about, huh? Well, good try for covering up for me, Burgess, old pal. You sure did try, but you picked up the wrong rhyme, and it didn't make any sense, and besides, well... Thunderation! <laughs> what a blood curdling sound! <laughs> oh, Cyclone, that's him! That's the lizard! Oh, Oscaloosa, what are we going to do, Cyclone? Do? Well, I'm going outside and see what's up. The whole thing sounds phony to me. Oh, no, Cyclone, don't do that. You don't know what that lizard might do. Gosh, no, Cyclone. 
Go, go. Oh, quiet, fellas. I'm not afraid. It'll take more than a scary laugh to back me down. I'm going out and meet this lizard face to face. Who's there? Answer me or I'll shoot. Too close for comfort. I was almost struck down by this fiendish lizard's claw arrow. What a day in Wishbone Hollow. It looks as if the lizard is beginning to show his hand. Who can this mysterious villain be, and what can he be after in connection with our new friend, Cyclone? And what of the strange power which Chief One Lone Feather appears to have, which enables him to be a rainmaker? Don't miss tomorrow's exciting adventure of Cowboy Cyclone Malone. <laughs>